Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Valeria, and this is the Off-Road Ranch. Today, I would like to talk about donations. In the last video, I already talked about my vision of the charity, about its consequences, about the risks of real charity, and what charity really should be. Based on this, you can conclude what type of charity makes sense for you and what benefits donations will have in a particular situation. Today, I want to talk about the situations that I already know quite well from the inside. That is about donations for bloggers, YouTubers and content creators in general. And it is also very important because it is your voice in the choice of content, your influence on the continuation of content, your participation. But first things first, there are several approaches to content creation, the presence of a sponsor and money, and then it's purely business and commercial history. The absence of a sponsor, but creating the impression on the viewer that there is money. And then this is a deception on the viewer and an attempt to profit. Shooting content just to use more ads, shooting content just to collect more donation, and the absence of a sponsor and the display of real life. We will briefly analyze the first four options and dwell in more detail on the fifth, because we are interested in the real life of a real person. And we are not interested in creating false image or show offs or using someone else's money for getting everything for free. Initially starting the channel, I aimed at the fifth type and this will continue further. Although if I choose a beautiful false picture or was hypocritical, it would attract much more attention since this would be emotions and an attainable elite entertainment and not the complicities of real life and sometimes a daily routine. But the problem is when looking at beautiful pictures and not at reality, a person has misconceptions in his head. And I will refute them now. Misconception number one. Being a content creator, making money and living beautifully is easy, fast and fun. This is true for a small number of people who have a lot of money and can invest it in self-promotion and narcissism. And the YouTube channel is one of its manifestations. As a rule, several teams work for such people. And the content of their channels is either purely entertaining or doesn't make sense at all. Misconception number two. You can create any content and become popular thanks to the mechanism of the platform that will work if you shoot for a certain amount of time. Misconception number three. Elite life, high social status, luxurious entertainment are the standard and the only meaning to which one must strive. But such a way of life is only the narcissism of those people who have huge amount of money and a lack of meaning in their life. Because show-offs and constant enjoyment of one's own life cannot be the meaning of life. And this leads to another problem, the imposition of a certain way of life. As a result, for some people it becomes an endless race for pleasure, while for others it is inaccessible. Therefore, frustration and procrastination are born. A person looks at someone else's life all his life and does nothing himself, because he expects that everything will appear by itself, without visible efforts, as it happens with the one he saw on the screen. Misconception number four is the existence of such kind of an elite life, which is imposed by marketing, which creates successful success and motivational motivation for constant consumption. This elite life is unrealistic to achieve since there must be people who will serve this elite, and therefore, in principle, everyone cannot achieve this level. And overall, the very existence of the elite shouldn't be in the sense that it is in the current structure of society.
If a person is a content creator and devotes himself completely to some business, and if he wants to introduce it to others, then he must take into account that other people will perceive this as an algorithm to achieve some goal. And if at the same time a content creator misses some details or hides them deliberately, pretending that all this is easy to achieve, then this is an extreme degree of hypocrisy and disrespect for his viewers. And of course, after constant consumption of meaningless content, it is very difficult and too lazy to perceive something smart. And in general, a person who comes back home after 10 hours of work wants to lie on the couch and turn off his brain watching simple videos and not think about everyday problems and future. But this is the trap of the modern world, when day after day and year after year people spend at unloved work and all the time sit on a laptop and in a smartphone. In the video number three about work-life balance, I talked about combining work and leisure and what rest is. And in the video number seven, I talked about information security and how important it is to consume conscious content. And these are really important things to watch in full and understand the concept. And of course, only you should decide who you watch, because it's exactly the same as what you eat. And stop thinking, I'm a simple person whose opinion doesn't decide anything. Just stop supporting and finding those things that do not benefit society. Well, now let's move on to the types of strategies for creating content. The first strategy is to have a sponsor. In this case, the content creator is not a blogger. In this case, a blogger is a hired employee who received a salary or percentage and works on certain conditions. A blogger doesn't have to worry about where to get money from, where to get ideas from, where to get expensive equipment for filming, who writes the script, who shoots it, and who edits the video. He is part of a business project, and he has a job he receives money for, and he doesn't care what he advertises. It's not his business, and he is not responsible for it. The channel itself, the show, the video, is pure commerce, which is based on psychological tricks, trends, and hype. The content depends on what will bring money in a particular area according to the calculations of the business plan. For example, these are video games, these are easy startups from scratch, this is successful success, this is training for quick money, for example, business coaches, investments, psychologists, and so on. And this is often any elite content. That is life that is inaccessible to 99% of the population. For example, building islands, buying huge yachts, participating in international races, life money draw of hundreds of thousands of dollars, and so on. Any way to amuse the ego. In this case, there is no relationship with the viewer, just as there is no importance of the audience for the blogger. The interests of the viewer are not taken into account, and the audience is attracted through advertising. Later, advertising costs are compensated by views and subscribers, and of course by other projects that we do not know about. And of course, a content marketplace can be a great way to launder money, because no one knows what kind of business scheme the creation of stupid content is part of. That is, this is a paid show, in which everything is wonderful and will always be wonderful as long as the project is profitable. The blogger himself depends on the sponsor and his money, and later he depends on his other projects. For example, participating in advertising, selling some products, publishing courses, and so on. That is personal brand, whether he likes it or not. But, of course, they don't talk about it. And for an outsider, it looks like it's the blogger's sole success. But if you look closely and think, then there are signs that a person doesn't work independently. 
For example, a complete beginner has a fully set light and background, well thought out script and speech, perfect editing from the first video, a lot of operators and angles, immediately a lot of subscribers and views, although this is suspicious, always successful entrepreneurship, courses, sales, startups, and this is a marketing strategy thought out by someone. Equipment costing tens of thousands of dollars, although just a high-quality camera costs from $5,000, and a complete set can cost from $200,000, and so on. But these signs are not always paid attention due to psychological tricks. For example, a well-thought-out scenario where all events look believable, or a cute girl with beautiful eyes, where appearance is 90% of views and donations, and so on. In this case, your donations are just sucking money out of you. This is stupid, because your resources are just a penny in a huge piggy bank of additional resources for the project owner. In fact, the owners will do without you, since they have enough resources. But why not make money on an ingenious spectator, if he is part of the business plan. Sometimes the sponsor might be the host of the channel himself. But this often happens when the channel creator is already a well-known public figure with reputation, finances and connections. He is familiar with various popular people and people know him. And this gives him the opportunity to make his channel popular immediately, since he is already interesting to other people. And the availability of finances makes it possible to recruit a team of professionals who will be involved in scripting, filming, editing, advertising, PR, and so on. And in this case, it is also clear that the channel was created to make a profit. But here a person takes this more seriously, because he either spends his own money or money he is responsible for. The content is probably more meaningful to erode the interest of the viewers, but nevertheless, it is also a well-calculated business plan, which is not bad at all, since money is earned through entrepreneurship and thoughtfulness. But think how many business people you donate without meaning to them, just to increase their profits. The second option for creating content is to give the viewer the impression that a person has money and a cool life. But in fact, I would classify this category of people as scammers or fools. I don't mean that they directly deceive people or break the law, but their level of morality and ethics is low, and yes, they deceive people. They try to appear different people, cooler, richer, funnier, more elite, popular, and so on. In reality, these people don't have such resources. They are just like rappers in music videos from 19s, when their gold chains, in fact, are bijouterie. But they build the picture as if they were rich. In reality, this is a rented car, rented expensive watches, fake clothes, leasing, loans, pretentious photos, an agreement to make videos on someone else's yacht, and so on. This is just a beautiful picture. This is collaborations with bloggers with similar content, mutual advertising, giveaways, hype, advertising of successful startups and fast businesses, selling cheap courses, stupid books, manuals, very useful things, and so on. Everyone earns as he sees fit, but in this case it is not a business, but swindle and speculation. And who is the client of this online conman and the sponsor of this activity? Right, his audience. And even if a content creator really needs money, he considers audience donations as income and the viewer himself is a fool to earn money. And then it is unknown whether he really needs money and whether he really needs money for what he said because it is possible that the viewer's opinion about the content doesn't interest him, and perhaps there is no value of the viewer, no respect, 
honesty and feedback to the viewer. One of the reasons of such behavior is that if you start to communicate, then many questions will arise that will not have clear and ambiguous answers. And then suspicion and negatively minded audience will appear in relation to the blogger. Although many popular people have haters, since most often you cannot do without it. But if a content creator is a liar, and if people begin to expose cunning schemes and deceit, then a person's reputation will be destroyed. That is, his way of life will be destroyed. The greater the significance, the greater the responsibility and consequences. But not everything is so clear. A person works for himself, honestly or not. And he will listen to the audience, because it is difficult to get it and keep it. And sometimes a blogger will try to make content the audience like. And of course, he needs money to live, to cover part of the cost of filming, to implement new projects that will bring him new subscribers and viewers, and therefore money and advertisers. But still, you should be careful and not fall for cheap tricks and schemes, since the content can be interesting, useful and valuable. The attitude towards the viewer is attentive. But the person in life may not be who he claims to be. You need to know about unpleasant character traits and expect that they can manifest themselves in the form of aggression, disrespect, deceit, and so on. The third option for creating content is to shoot content just for the fact of having content, in order to use more advertising there and to make money on it. That is, the blogger's goal is to promote the channel as quickly as possible and then constantly look for as many advertisers as possible. Sometimes I see 30 ad integrations in the video itself and another 20. Sometimes I see 30 ad integrations in the video itself and another 20 ad integrations in the video description. The worst thing is that by such actions the content creator misleads his audience and most likely the money of his viewers will be either spent on a low quality product or wasted at all. And the multiple growth of interest in the product will provoke additional advertising activity and even more deceived people. Therefore, his actions affect the quality of the content. The blogger devotes less time to the meaning and quality of the video and the viewers simply get tired of the abundance of advertising and waste their time pointlessly trying to find something useful in the video of the creator they like. Fortunately, they are gradually unsubscribing from him. But unfortunately, this cycle is endless, because a dork is no mammoth, he won't go extinct, and new viewers come to replace the unsubscribed. There are ways to recognize a blogger who moves from usual familiar content to promotional content. For example, there are psychological techniques that cause surprise and interest. There is a breakdown of patterns and a conflicting opinion. There is a sharp change in the quality of shooting. For example, the video quality improves dramatically. There are many shooting angles, a well thought out picture and script, clear sound, cool editing, a delivered speech by the presenter, and so on. Cool equipment and technology suddenly appear, because, for example, a blogger enters into a contract for constant advertising of certain companies and manufacturers. The number of views and subscribers increases dramatically, because the blogger buys traffic in large quantities. A bunch of ads and promotions pop up. There are a lot of collaborations, interviews, communication with other bloggers. There are only good and commendable comments under the video, as all negativity and truth are deleted. I would say that in this case, it is necessary to correlate how much the content meets your expectations and how much your donation will influence the creator's approach in the future. Because the video can be of high quality despite the ads. But most often it happens that a blogger is already making money on advertising, and your donation is just the numbers on the account that please the blogger's eye. 
The fourth option for creating content is content in order to collect more donations from the audience. For such a creator, his viewer is really important. He devotes a lot of time to him, answers all the questions, and conducts interactive activities. But only because he treats him like a cash cow. Content is created in order to have content, to simulate activities. But videos don't have any meaningful load and there is nothing new or useful for society. But for the audience, this is often enough, because the creator uses ways to keep the viewer. The same methods are used to create theories, also known as soap operas. For example, a content creator constantly gets in trouble and, by chance, at the very end of the project. For example, the project was going great, developing and growing, it became very cool and large, and now the creator is ready to show you something. And once a misfortune happened, and the project ended. Another point is that he presses on pity or convinces you that only you can save the project. He is always polite and accommodating, but actually aloof and decorative. He promises to do something cool and unrealistic that no one has done before him and refers to his irreplaceable experience, similar cases of other people, connections with people, thanks to which 100% everything will work out. He makes a promise that absolutely every viewer will like his product and it will suit any person, which is impossible. In the end, he comes out with rubbish instead of what he promised, and he again justifies this with external uncontrollable factors. He doesn't report on expenses, and I consider it very important if he publicly asks you to help him. And of course, all the time he explicitly and specifically asks only for money. All this is very hypocritical, because if the previous options exploited your time, your trust and your donations more directly, then here the creator directly, constantly asks people for help, while he thinks that this is normal and that you owe him. And his gratitude, no matter how beautiful and thoughtful it is, is a rule of conduct that must be followed in order to keep the audience with his nobility and good upbringing. In fact, a person not only doesn't create anything, doesn't share anything, and doesn't benefit, but also deceives people. In addition, he does a great job of spoiling the idea what content creators do and how they behave. Therefore, please, pay attention how words and promises of the creator correspond to his actions over a long period of time. And in general, the promises to the audience from the creator are too big and impossible responsibility, because it is impossible to please everyone. Promising something large in the current and very changeable time is very risky, because there are many circumstances that a person cannot influence unless he has infinite resources. And if a content creator constantly asks for money, then, of course, his resources are not endless. Moreover, if he already has financial instability, how can he promise to implement a project that needs money? In general, all four of these content creation options that I talked about earlier work together, and there is no clear separation, because in all four cases it is a conscious income and the deception of the audience's expectations. I also want to say that advertising and collaborations with other creators have the right to exist. And in general, it is not bad. This is a way of financing, so that there is an opportunity to try new ways of shooting, new ways of communication with the audience. This is an opportunity to raise the quality of content to a new, previously unattainable level, and perhaps the creator's work will at least partially pay off. In general, all this is part of a marketing strategy aimed at promotion, increased popularity and building relationships. But these things must be considerate and moderate. Of course, it can happen that a quality content creator 
can suddenly start using a lot of advertising and actively using various tools. It can happen if a black streak has come in his life and he needs additional income for some specific purposes. But it is important not to lower your quality as this will reduce the number of viewers and it will be even more difficult to return them because it will be necessary to show a new level which is more difficult to reach at least because more finances is needed for the development and quality of production. So there is a visual circle. In this case, of course, it is very, very important to support a content creator so that he has the opportunity to shoot what he and you like and not try to survive. But unfortunately, more often than not, circumstances develop differently. And the reason is that he actually fell ill with star disease or grit. Therefore, the fifth option for creating content, and this is what I chose for myself, is to approach its creation consciously and independently. And this is a completely different situation. A person makes himself, and making the decision to create content means much more to him than just making any videos. A content creator understands that he becomes a public person and he is responsible for what he brings into this world. He understands that his content affects another person, his thoughts and decisions. For the content creator, this is now the main job, partly an educational activity, which he must take and he does take extremely seriously and responsibly, and he respects his reputation. The content creator lives in real life and uses the opportunities that are available to him when creating content. In this case, a person should have enough resources, including perhaps a passive source of income that will not take him more than 10 hours a week, but will bring a decent stable income, since the main work is the creation of content. And all the remaining time the blogger spends on other sources of funding or recreation. As I said, this is the main work, which in most cases doesn't bring any significant profit and moreover doesn't pay off. But this work is socially oriented. The content creator decides to create conscious and useful content because he sees that the internet is full of nonsense and there is no enough practical application of theoretical knowledge. And those who are responsible for education do not cope with the task so that everyone has the opportunity to get acquainted with the practical application of knowledge posted in the public domain, as well as the desire and opportunity to try it out. The content creator is often a professional or an amateur who wants to develop in different areas. He has something to show, something to teach and help. Content creator videos are focused on solving a specific problem or task. The content creator understands that his content is more serious. It is not purely entertaining and meaningless, but educational or even scientific. And it is much more difficult and longer to create it. To create it, time is spent for free, since, in fact, most of this content doesn't pay off the costs, time and finances, because such videos gain fewer views due to the complicity of the topics that content creators review. But everyone who watches benefits for themselves, regardless of the subject matter, whether it is space, mechanics, Asian languages, anatomy, and so on. When creating content, the content creator has a precise goal and precise task, and he makes sure that the person gets what he came for. Therefore, it is watched by those who came for the benefit, for specific request, and his audience appreciates it. Therefore, many authors cannot create content often, because they don't have the time, money and team of assistance for this. And of course, it is much more difficult for them than for those bloggers who are sponsored. Because on their channels, a cool, bright, high-quality video can be released every week or even every day. And this is a huge advantage. How do I post videos every week? Well, 
For more than half a year, I've been sleeping for five, six hours and I have no day offs. And at the moment of making this video, at the end of April, I have 29 subscribers. And I doubt that their number will increase by the time that this video is released. Because my content is educational and it will remain so. There will be no simplified themes, stated things, show-offs, stupid jokes, off-screen laughter, and so on. And it makes me sad to see how, instead of millions and billions of views, really valuable content gains tens of thousands of views during all its existence on the platform, while some senseless nonsense or a prank of a colorful chatterbox gains tens of millions of views per day. Because in this way, society simply degrades. In addition, if the content creator works independently, then in 80% of cases, he shows his life and not the script. But it doesn't mean that he doesn't have a script in principle. But in this case, the work becomes tenfold more difficult because it is generally a documentary or journalistic work almost in real time, which is very difficult to film. Outdoor shooting compared to shooting indoors in one place is a dozen times more difficult due to weather conditions, lightning, noise, interference, other people, angles, and so on. And if this is a full-fledged live broadcast, then it is hundreds of times more difficult and requires a large and already exceptionally professional team. Why? Because a person has only one chance to film what he needs. You can cut down trees once, drive through the swamp once, repair a car once. These actions cannot be repeated. This is not a movie with a budget for a group of people to cut down a garden 10 takes after another group of people planted this garden 11 times. Or pull out a car 10 takes which was brought into the swamp 11 times, and so on. Therefore, for a content creator, a well-thought-out script is very important, as well as a high-quality preparation and filming absolutely everything that happens, and as much as possible, and preserving all the material. And if you shoot badly, you will see it only at the time of editing, and you won't be able to shoot it again. The loss of material is a separate pain for every content creator. But the question of how difficult it is to create content, I will touch on not now, but in a separate video. Therefore, very often, this is far from a perfect picture with special effects, since there is no opportunity for this, although this content can be hundreds of times more useful than stupid entertainment. But this is often not appreciated, because people are used to a beautiful picture, the speed of emotions, a lot of special effects, and they demand a lot from the creator, and they don't give a chance to those who are trying to do really important interesting things with the budget available to them. Therefore, if the content creator does everything himself, then the project on platforms will definitely not pay off. And it will not pay off not only in money, but also in time and health. And these are more important things that cannot be returned. But exactly these content creators do care about the viewer. They try to make you like it, to convey information to you, wanting to tell more, be useful and help. And they do not rely on other people's money. And in this case, the main person on the platform is the viewer and every viewer. And such content creators understand that people ignore requests for support and perceive them as spam. Many viewers do not understand that every like, every subscription and every comment really has an impact, especially if a person is just starting to run his channel, vlog, blog or a page on a social network. And this is not spam, but request for help. And this is recognition that you are an important person. And this is really a step for you to influence something and make decision about something. In addition, this is a free opportunity for you to gain new knowledge and become better yourself 
and not watch and forget after five minutes. The real audience decides what it wants to see. This is content voting. The audience expresses their opinion through likes, comments, votes, donations, what content is valuable and what else they want to see. There is a constant connection between the content creator and subscribers, constant communication and exchange of opinions, where there is praise, criticism, gratitude, help, and so on. And it turns out a full-fledged interchange, where not only the content creator participates, but also the viewer. And the viewer not just a consumer, but a participant in the dialogue and a screenwriter for future content. Therefore, the value of donations is a logical assistance to the creator, his salary for a job well done or an additional bonus, motivation for him, and not just a part of a business plan. This is gratitude for the fact that he opened the way of private life, showed his work, provided an opportunity to evaluate his activities. And this is partly an attempt to get the viewers involved a little bit and help to offset some of the expenses that a creator incurred to benefit you and other people and create content that interests you. But besides that, donations are far from just money. Donation can be any help that you can. Your help in creating content is also a donation in gratitude. For example, text translation, comment moderation, material search, site administration, networking, and other remote work. If this is work on the spot, then this is assistance in filming, editing, providing fuel, rating a car or specialized equipment, and so on. But the coolest thing about such donations is that you yourself will become better and the creator will continue to create content that is useful for you and other people. And also, there is a chance that you will make a friend, and you yourself will become a reliable friend. And in the future, you may work together on something, and will achieve better and faster results, and become successful. But successful, not in the sense that society imposed, but as you personally think. Someone will say, it is his choice to spend his time, energy, health, money, why should I help? Yes, it is his choice, and it is great, and you don't have to help, but you benefit from what he does. You would like to see more videos from this person. You share his views and activities, and your help is not only helping another person to become better, but also helping yourself and the world. In addition, after you have learned about the types of content, you can understand which person is engaged in an important public cause and which one leads to the degradation of other people. And if you have already visited the channel and understood its importance, then you can contribute to its development. Like many other people, quality content creators also want to get a result that is at least somewhat in line with their investment. And the way to do this is through socialization and business just like all over the world. They also try to promote their videos through collaborations with other bloggers. They are looking for ways to make money by implementing other projects, launching courses, selling and advertising, and these are ways to earn money. At the same time, it is important to preserve the original goal of creating socially important things and not develop a business based on them. In a good case, a person develops, earns money, and records a team to get the best result, because doing everything on one's own is very difficult and slow. I will eventually also have a team, but only when I can support it, because we are responsible for those we have tamed. I have a project where I spend my time, money and energy. And making videos is an additional burden then can make certain actions more transparent to other people. Those who may think about such actions and who will seek support and information in how it's happening. I think it's important to get this across to people. And sometimes when making complex videos, I spend several months because I do everything alone 
and I don't earn money on it. But these videos have such a huge social value that I consider it my duty to implement them. I am thankful to my friends who support me and who always help me and sometimes spend whole days and weekends every time when I add their opinion and advice. Maintaining a channel, blog, vlog is a way of self-realization and dissemination of information for other people. A person has his own vision, attitude and morality that he wants to explain transparently and convey to other people. But we must be aware that sometimes money and popularity reveal previously hidden negative aspects of a person. And it can happen that when profits and the number of subscribers grow, then the first four categories of creators, if we can call them that, drop in quality and attention to the viewer and content, as well as reaction to feedback and the viewer's opinion. And now I want to turn to content creators and say that it is important to keep your principles both in life and in filming content, so that regardless of the circumstances, the purpose and meaning of creating material doesn't change. Therefore, if you choose to create content consciously, then every video, every article, and every social media post should be relevant, because your content reflects you. And even if you deceive yourself, your viewers will tell you the truth. Therefore, not sponsors or advertising should prevail, but donations. Sponsors and advertisers set the direction of creators' public statements and the meaning that becomes available to large masses of people. And donations in their turn show the quality and importance of the issues that a creator touch when creates content, and not just sponsor the costs and create a business strategy for making money on content production. In this case, the blogger cannot but pay attention to the audience, be honest and bear responsibility for what is happening, because otherwise his content will become less important, less cited, less in demand, and generally less interesting for the viewer. In addition to promoting content with sponsors and funding, self-promotions on advertising platforms for money also promote a content creator, specifically creates a larger audience reach and creates unequal opportunities for other content creators. Because one person earns every view and every subscriber with his own work, and the second spends millions of dollars on advertising and get the result immediately, because his videos are shown everywhere, in the recommendations and in the popular, regardless of the meaning and benefit and even the potential harm of the content. When creating content, every content creator must have an equal opportunity to be seen and chosen by the viewer. And money in this case violate justice, because it is dishonest to show only what money is paid for. The ability of the content creator to realize himself and benefit others is greatly reduced. Certain information is imposed on the viewer, and other, inconvenient, is hidden, which makes it possible to manipulate public opinion and the social agenda. The viewer may miss important things or not find the content he needs, because he simply doesn't have enough time or patience to find exactly what he is looking for. All the content simply wasn't created due to the impossibility of further monetization and the lack of demand for such meaningful content. So the viewer will not see what is more important to him. That is, the decisions that the viewer will take, what content he will consume, very often depends not on him, but on the one who paid money. His tastes and preferences are determined by those who paid money and not by the viewer himself. And what the viewer consumes affects his consciousness, attitude, opinions, behavior, and so on. At the same time, the ability of a content creator to self-realize also depends on the initial capital and not on his capabilities, abilities, talents, efforts, and work. This is unfair and the viewer can really influence this to
to change for the better. Therefore, if there is no money, then very often projects do not develop and close because the audience doesn't even know about them or don't understand the contribution and value or doesn't appreciate them because a beautiful high-quality picture is more important or content simply cannot be found. Many talented and hard-working people don't have a chance for self-realization, but they are those who can make the world a better place. And if a creator finds funding or an investor, then he takes his project for himself. And I also consider it unfair. Many say that an idea without implementation means nothing. But the fact that implementation is possible only through the money of another person with the appropriation of the idea to him is dishonest. Since the whole concept, all the work belongs to the creator, and if it can be realized only for other people's money, then this is not the same idea. This is already a product for commercial use, which has no value for society, but a benefit for the investor. And this idea changes under the influence of goals of the investor. Therefore, many thought ideas don't make the world a better place. And many people cannot fulfill themselves because they understand that if they tell their idea, they will be used, and they don't want to do it. And I completely agree with them. It is society that should decide which idea is worthy of implementation, not billionaires. I touched on this topic in the video number 6, and it will be useful for you to watch it. Therefore, the nations give the viewer the right to choose information. This is an influence on what the viewer will see and what other people will create. This is an opportunity for the viewer to participate in social life and not just consume what is given. Even if it seems that a small donation doesn't solve anything in this vast world, this is not true. Every small action has a consequence, and the more people with small actions will be, the greater the results will be. I also would like to talk about the unbelievable difficulties I've been facing for six months that I've been trying to set up a platform for receiving and withdrawing donations. And also, I would like to talk about taxes, since donations are charity, not the cost of a certain service. And this means that there should be no taxes for donations. In this case, the question arises of the need for an intermediary between the donor and the creator in the form of states, tax departments, banks, and other organizations, since they take away part of the audience's gratitude in the form of taxes, commissions, delays, rejects, and so on. And in general, I released a separate video about the insolvency of the financial system and its alternative. And I suggest you watch it by the link. Therefore, if we summarize everything that I said above, the nations have the following meaning. The choice for content and voting for content. Your gratitude and support for the project. Equal opportunities and independence from the influence of the sponsor and advertising. Confirmation of the quality of content and given more time and effort to create content. Interaction between the blogger and the viewer rather than showing elite life. Self-development of people. Your training and development of important projects. And this is another step towards the fact that you personally influence the decision. Your personal opinion matters. You personally choose what will be on various platforms. You personally give the opportunity to continue to show what you like. And the nations are to play such a role. This is their meaning. And if we remove sponsors, advertising, deceit, the influence of money, and other barriers that also prevent development, and if we leave only the opinion of society, then the world would be completely different. People would vote for other things, and people would choose other things, and people will pay for other things. So, support those who create quality content 
and create quality content yourself. Empower viewers and content creators. This is your strength and your participation in the first step towards creating a just world and a socially oriented society. The size of your donation most likely will not affect your quality of life or your wallet, but it will give another person a chance to fulfill himself. And this is the real kindness and charity. And I would like you to think about it, because it is true. Even the small amount can dramatically affect the activities of a quality content creator, because it is support. And if you haven't watched my video about charity yet, then what are you waiting for? And if you liked my video but haven't subscribed, liked or left a comment yet, then please do it. In this way, you will support the release of useful content. And your donations are, in general, invaluable help. And I will be endlessly grateful for you. And I will be even more grateful if you give me a chance to plant a tree in your honor for the subscription on my Patreon. But you can also send money through Monero and write how you would like me to name your tree. I have many more important and interesting videos on various topics on my channel, and I'm sure they will be useful for you. It was Valeria, the Offroad Trench. Wish you all the best and see you soon.